Let's read this one together. This is a long word. How do you say this? Deuteronomy. Oh, how many syllables is that? Deuteronomy. That's a five syllable word. Deuteronomy. You guys say that? Deuteronomy. Very good. So, Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is how many? One. Lord. So we're talking about that today. Let's read it together. You ready? Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Very good. You want to say that again together? Thank you. You stop picking your nose. All right? Okay? Ready? Let's read it again together. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. What is it saying? Pay attention. Hear, O Israel. That's what it means by hear, O Israel. It means pay attention. Listen. The Lord our God, so our God... Is one. It's one Lord. He's not many. He's one, isn't he? So, we're going to learn a bit about that today. We're going to talk about the one true God that we worship. The one true God. And thank God this one true God took on flesh and died for us, didn't he? He loves us this much. Shh, no, 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 no talking. No talking. One true God. You know, not, you know, some people don't believe. But there's only one God. You know that there are religions out there that teach there are many gods. Some religions teach that there's millions of gods. There's a God of the rock and a God of the water and the God of this and the God of that. But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. This is somebody's artist's impression of these Greek gods. You know, these Greek gods, and they get into all this mischief. And they go around causing trouble. And they kind of give them personalities a bit like humans. God is not like a human, is he? God is God. Humans are like humans. So some people believe in like many, many, many different gods. Some people believe that statues are gods. What's this? Well, these are people bowing down and worshipping a statue. This is not the one true God. So some people believe there are lots of different gods. Some people believe that statues are gods. And they make this statue and they make it look all pretty. And then they go and they worship it. And they bow down and worship it. No, the one true God is not something that we create. The one true God created us. Right? God created us. How silly is it? Some people, if you make something, have you ever made something before? Maybe you put something together with Lego, or you make a little sand castle, or you get some sticks together and you make like a little stick figure with a head with a honky nut or something like that. Imagine making that figurine yourself from the things you collect, and then you put it in your room, and then you say, oh my God. You bow down. Is that not the silliest thing that you've ever done? Why would you worship something that you made yourself? Right? You're more powerful than the thing because you made it. But no, God. We did not make God. God made us. But this is how silly this is. People make a statue. Yeah, maybe it's a bit more fancy than the stick figure or sand castle. But they make it out of stone or out of metal and they build it up and then they bow down and they worship it like a God. Isn't that silly? So some people, they worship statues and idols, the Bible calls it. And this is what Israel did, if you remember, when Moses went up to take the Ten Commandments. He came back down, and what were they doing? What were they doing, Noah? They were worshipping an idol. They made an animal out of gold, and then they bowed down and they worshipped that cow. Isn't that silly? Isn't that silly? And this is why Moses was so angry. He was so angry. He threw the two tablets and they broke. And then he had to go up and get another two. <laughs> so this is what they did. Idolatry. But no, we, oops, we worship the one true God. This is somebody's drawing of God's throne. 
The one true God is like so bright on his throne, you can't even look at him. And here Ezekiel talks about the wheels and the creatures that fly around God's throne. This is the one true God, the one that created it all. And I want to tell you a little bit about this God today. So we're going to, I'm going to teach you three new words, if you haven't learned them. Three words. Three, three, three. How do you guys do three? Like this? Like this? Or like this? Hold up three. Hold up three. How do you do it? Like that, do you? Oh, you do it like that? Some people do it like this. Some people do it like this. Some people do it like this. <laughs> All right, so I'll, say, I'll teach you three new words today about God. First one is omnipotent. The one true God is omnipotent. Can you guys say that? Omnipotent. Now, what does this mean? Omnipotent means all-powerful. You think of potent? It's like your potential. Your potential is your power to do things. Let me sit down. Let me see. Omnipotent. Let's say that together. Omnipotent. Okay, that means all-powerful. You can do all things. Okay? Except sin. Obviously, you can't do things against his nature. All things that are illogical. Omnipotent. All-powerful. Here's another person's rendition of the Ezekiel vision. Omniscient. Omniscient. Let's say that together. You ready? Omniscient. So if you think of this word, what does that look like? That looks like science, doesn't it? So what does science mean? Science means knowledge. So if you're omniscient, if you remember omnipotent means all-powerful, what do you think omniscient means if this means knowledge? What do you think, Ryan? All knowledgeable, very good. All knowing. That's what we say. We say God knows everything. So not only can he do anything, he knows everything. This is the true God. And the last one I want to tell you about, here. Well, here's another vision, right? This is another drawing of uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. He's seeing God lifted up. You know, this is not God. This is actually a seraphim that he's seen. Multiple wings. got two wings covering his feet. Two wings that he flies with. And two wings covering his eyes. His head. Omnipresent. Presence. Your presence. That means where you are. Right? So, if this means all-powerful, this is... All knowing, what do you think omnipresent means? What do you think, Timothy? His presence is everywhere. Well, this is present, not a gift. It's not like a present that you get a gift. This is present where you are, where you are. What do you guys think? Omnipresent. Present is where you where you are at the time. So you guys are present here today. But God is Omnipresent. What do you think that means? Hand up. Ryan? Yeah, he's all present. He's in all places. Okay, so this is, means he's everywhere at the same time. You know you? Hey, pay attention, kids. Hey, take your hand in your mouth. You can only be in one place at one time. Where are you today? Right here. Are you at home as well? No. You can only be in one place at one time. But you know God? can be in all places, all the time. <laughs> so he doesn't have to be here or there. He doesn't have to be there tomorrow and here yesterday. He's everywhere, all the time. That's what omnipresent means. Okay, so let's recap. Who remembers? What does omnipotent mean? Omnipotent. Jordan. Potent. Starts with P. Simon. Power. What, so what does omnipotent mean? If potent means power, what is he? All-powerful. All powerful. So he can do all things. What about omniscient? Who remembers Jordan? All-knowing. All Very good. Omniscient means all-knowing. Is that right? Yes? And the last one, omnipresent. Ryan. All-present, but what does that mean? All-present? Who knows? Able. He's everywhere. That's right. Omnipresent means you're everywhere all the time. 
Okay, so we learned about the one true God today. Okay, so let's read our memory verse again. This one we want to memorize for next week. Memory verse, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Let's read it together. You ready, guys? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Who wants to have a go?